What's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting into Coffin, Unconquered Abysses. So fucking good. Killer, killer Death Doom on Seed of Doom Records. Fucking so heavy, sick, doomed out. Just awesome, awesome stuff. I've been listening to this a lot lately, and just, it gets better with every single listen. Awesome J-Card as well. Killer artwork. Just fucking sick shit. Love it. Total evil, total darkness. Killer, killer shit. This sounds great on cassette. I would love to hear it on wax, but holy fuck. It's just a goddamn behemoth of celestial fucking darkness. It's crushing, dark, and just absolutely a monster of modern death doom metal. Seriously, fucking awesome stuff here. On Seed of Doom, and I have no idea off the top of my head who did handle the CD or vinyl version of this, but... I would get a copy of it if you are interested in anything at all that sounds like this. Let's give you a taste. So, into coffin. Unconquered Abysses. Holy shit, it's fucking awesome. Just like this split tape, Ruin and Absander. I discussed it, I played a little bit in the background, but let's talk about this killer, killer slab of death metal. We'll start with the Absconder side of things. Fuck! This is so good. Hold on. This, seriously, is definitely my favorite material from both of these bands. And I fucking love Ruin, and I love both of Skander demos, so... Yeah, this right here, if you could still get your hands on it through Goat Throne Records, do it because holy fuck when it comes to split releases on cassette this is probably the best one released in a minute like head split does a lot of real good ones but this is something that's just on some next level shit ruin and absconder and i know ruin has another split cassette in the works Mike and company are just hammering shit out during this, you know, mess of a situation that is the coronavirus. But the absconder side of things, you get four tracks of just utterly devastating death metal from the Midwest. It's just absolutely fucking devastating it just makes you want to get some kind of sharp object and just fucking stab oh my goodness from gangrenous extremities eron's my rotting head and from parts unknown this right here is every single thing you could possibly want out of some mid-tempo, midwestern death fucking metal. If you're a fan of, say, some early Vastum releases, I feel like Absconder's kind of like the Midwest Vastum when it comes to their sound. Like, it has those, like, autopsy parts where it's just like, you know, you want to fucking... It, like, it just makes you want to legit 
Like, I'm not trying to quote that sample, but it makes you just want to fucking stab, and it's great. Just that. Dun, 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 dun. And I love that shit. And every one of these tracks is just riddled with heaviness, awesome riffing, and a killer vocal delivery. And the same goes for the four tracks on the Ruin side of things. Ruin on this devastation session is De Morete on Coffins. Bricks on Chainsaws, Spine on Sewer, Destroy also on Chainsaws, and Satan on Vomit. Fuck yeah. I love this shit. It's fucking dark, it's twisted, and it's heavy as fuck. It sounds like it was recorded by serial killers if there was a death metal serial killer out there. And I'm not comparing this to Macabre. I know Macabre and these bands kind of come from the same territories, but it's just something that's in my head. Like, I legit feel like a modern day serial killer would probably throw this on before going out for a night's work of fucking murder. Holy shit, the way this opens up with the sadist, deathless piles of rot. <laughs> hideous end. And no one can hear the screams. Fucking awesome, legit murder metal. Now, I know Macabre uses the murder metal tag, but Ruin Death Metal Cult bring their own fucking low-tuned death metal assault here. And again, I really feel like this is some of Ruin's best material next to... Um, I apologize. I don't know the title of this off the top of my head. I am pretty sure, oh my goodness, I apologize, but uh, here it is, Chasms of Disgust is what I meant to say, this is some of my favorite ruin material, right next to Chasms of Disgust, it's fucking awesome, like as much as I love the full length um, Drown in Blood, this right here, I feel, is just so fucking good. Low-tuned fucking just murder-invoking death metal. And Ruin bring forth that same energy here on their split with pretty much, in my opinion, what would be an amazing tour package would be Absconder touring with Ruin. Now that's never gonna happen, probably, you know, it, it might, but it's such a perfect, like, split. Like, these two bands, wow. Fucking hails to Aaron at Goat Throne Records. I know they only printed four, 40 of these bad boys on multiple colors. I think it's like blue, and red, and I think one might be blue and red. I, I don't really know off the top of my head. I just know I'm 99% sure this is sold out, but you could still grab one digitally. Maybe they'll be doing another pressing of this. I would hit up, you know, the bands or Aaron at Goat Throne. But this right here, to me, is one of the best releases so far in 2020. And it's a fucking split cassette release, but has a total of eight tracks. A lot of splits, they're very, very short. You get, like, for example, and I love this split here, but the Evil and Siege column split, like... Evil has three tracks, while Siege Column only has two. 
and they're two of my favorite Siege Column songs, but still, like, with shipping and everything, it's not something you really want to buy on its own, unless you're buying the vinyl version, and even then, it's like, you know, wham, bam, it's over. And if you don't have, you know, more material by the bands and stuff, then, you know, you're shit out of luck, and you better enjoy those fucking two songs. But a split like this, where it's pretty much an EP slash mini LP from both bands on a split cassette release is something that's not unheard of, but it's fucking badass. Like, this would not fit on a 7 inch, this would be an amazing 12 inch. Maybe fucking Kill Records will, you know, put this bad boy out on wax because it really deserves it. Like, seriously. This is so fucking good. Some of my favorite material from both bands here, and especially Epsconder. It's fucking great. But this is death metal for fans of low-tuned, crushing death metal. Like, if you enjoy pornographic seizures, I have a very, very distinct gut feeling that you're gonna fucking enjoy this split right here. Both sides of it will have your name carved into your fucking tombstone as you blast this bad boy. And it's fucking sick. Absconder wrote, performed, and recorded their tracks in the Murder Shed 2019. And it looks like the session Death Noise from Ruin was recorded at Patton State Home at an unknown time and date, but was recorded and engineered by John Trench. Fucking sick. I'm trying to see. All right, the cover art here is by Ruben Splatter Beast, who fucking rules. Very, very, like... To me, Richard Ramirez-esque inspired. I don't really know, but that's what this reminded me of when I first looked at it. It's fucking sick. The cover art here on 12 inches of wax. It would just look absolutely amazing. Especially if they did like a picture disc and then just had like both bands. Oh no! Had like fucking that on the... Uh, B side of things, oh man, that would be awesome. But the tunes on here are what fucking matters, and Ruin really bring their A game, and Absconder just fucking hit a goddamn grand slam with those four tracks, and same thing with Ruin. And if you're new to both of these bands, this is the best place to start because. In my personal opinion, this is both bands' best material to date. And that is Ruin and Absconder. Split tape on Goat Throne Records and Death Metal Cult. So, if you can grab a copy of this, do it. If not, grab it digitally. You need to hear these fucking tunes. They're amazing. And Unconquered Abysses by Into Coffin is amazing. Seriously, it's just a fucking beast. It's four tracks of just absolute darkness. So heavy and just so atmospheric. I... Love this shit. Again, I'll give you a, a little taste of this. Because this is probably gonna be my next review. And yeah, I've been listening to this a lot lately. And it's just fucking great. Like, listen to the vocal delivery. Into Coffin. 
seat of doom. But hails to seat of doom for sending this my way, as well as a bunch of other releases I've went over already. I've been saving the best for last right here, and we'll be going over this in the near future, but we've also been currently blasting some Into Coffin, Unconquered Abysses, and discussing this amazing split with Ruin and Absconder. Mighty, mighty hails to fucking Aaron at Goat Throne Records for sending this my way. Mike and Brad as well. Fucking heavy hails. And you maniacs at home, thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule. Hails. <laughs>